Hi, today we're going to be doing an advanced pull trick called the spleen. I am speeding up this invert so that we can get to the uh, final pose. The spleen, once we're there, is going to look like this. A really cool one, so let's go ahead and jump into it. So as you know, warming up is important, but especially important for tricks that require this level of flexibility. So here I'm just doing some cats and cows, then I did a nice camel, and then finally I finished with a bridge just to warm the back up. This is not an all-inclusive list, you can definitely do more as you uh, feel you need to. So this is typically a spin pull move, so I am using a spin pull today. It's going to come from a superman, and today I'm going to do an outside leg hook into my superman. Um, once you get there, you can hit that shape for a little bit. And then this is where we'll begin our spleen transition. You'll want to get that inside arm around the pole. Here I use my outside arm to reach behind myself to help pull me back and arch my back so I can get that inside arm nice and secure on the pole. Outside hand is then going to reach above the head. Inside arm is going to stay behind the pole grab that ankle or calf, and then rest the foot against the pole. So your foot is actively pressing into the pole here. From there, inside arm threads around and grabs that thigh, pulling in. You should feel secure enough to release that outside hand, so you can then grab your foot or your ankle. Here I'm grabbing with my thumb down on the foot. And then I'm thinking about driving the foot up the pole to make that nice, pretty extension. You can also think about using that inside arm to pull your leg in. From there, I like to bend the bottom leg uh, just as a variation of the shape. When you're ready, you can release back into an elbow grip superman and then lower down to the ground. One other variation of this one is going to come from that same entrance, so reaching back, grabbing that ankle, pulling it towards the pole, arm grabbing the thigh, outside arm extending that leg. But now with that other leg, instead of bending it, you can straighten it down to the pole, get the back of that foot against the pole, and here you create kind of like a lollipop shape. It's kind of cute to come out, release the foot, and then a titanic variation, and then regrip the pole to come down. That is everything I have for you today. I hope you found this helpful, and have a good one.